Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to set up our Jetson Xavier to boot natively from external storage. We will be taking advantage of the new flash tool in Jetpack 4.6. Let's flip our Jetson over. Here's the M2 key M slot. And here's the retaining screw that helps hold our card in place. Let's remove the retaining screw. There is a little bit of blue thread locker on the screw. It may take a little extra pressure to remove it the first time. Now we install our SSD. Keep the card at about a 45 degree angle to insert it into the slot. Once the card is fully seated, reinstall the retaining screw. Installation complete. Our host machine here today is a Dell laptop running Ubuntu 16.04. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Boot from External Storage. Let's clone that repository and switch over to that repository's directory. In order to prepare the host, first we install the needed dependencies. Let's clear this off. Now we are ready to download the Jetson files and decompress them. We are preparing the board support package for the Jetson along with sample root FS and secure boot. Success! We are ready to begin flashing. Let's set the Jetson into force recovery mode. To do that, we need to jump our pins 9 and 10 here on the J50 header located directly under the Jetson module. You can use a standard jumper to connect the two pins. A pair of tweezers would be useful. I have found that a DuPont female to female breadboard jumper wire is easier to use. Now we connect pins 9 and 10 together. The micro USB end of a USB cable is plugged into the Jetson. We now plug in the other end to our host laptop. Now we power on the Jetson. And we see our little green light. Back on our host, we will be able to see the Jetson. We sing the magic song, LS, USB, and there it is. 0955 colon 7E19 NVIDIA Corp. We are now ready to flash. Oh, we need to remove the force recovery jumper. Let's continue. Password. Flashing complete. Now we are ready to go over to the Jetson and finish setting it up. At this point, you can set the Jetson up to run as a regular desktop or headless. For the rest of this video, it is set up as a desktop with a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and ethernet connection. Let's wander over to the Jetson. Over on the Jetson, we are on our familiar OEM config. I accept my fate. Continue. English, please. More English. Los Angeles. My name? Password. You have a weak password. Continue. Here's the number of megabytes on the drive. 237 GBs. Continue. Let's go mode 20 watt 4 core. New and improved.
password. And here we are in the new desktop. Let's install the NVIDIA Jetpack tools. Open up our web browser. Drag it over here. Let's open up a terminal. Now we clone the repository on the Jetson. Let's switch over to the repositories directory. And now we are ready to run the script. Password. Do you want to continue? Yes, please. Installation complete. So we are good to go. Everything's installed. Let's reboot our system. Good to go. No SD card needed. Let's try running our BPI demo. BPI remap demo. Open. Oh, it's a doggy. I like doggies. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, and stay safe. To be honest, this dog kind of freaks me out a little bit.